show on the TV what we made. Yep. No, Mama's gonna tape us, and then we'll put it on the TV. Tell the people watching TV what we made. It's everywhere. We made this. Right? Tell the people on TV. Is that Bill? That looks good. Mm, you look like you've been eating it all day long. <laughs> Just smile with the people on TV. <laughs> I'm looking at Can you say Sarah? Say hey, Foxy. Sing a song. Hey, Foxy. Can you do the butt? Hi. What you doing? You gonna talk to me? Hi. Hi. I take your picture. Do you want to walk around the flowers and I'll take your picture? What do you got? Bugs?
See the rock. See a rock. TV again? See, look. She's got boo-boo on her arm. See? See, she's licking it. Be nice to that. Be nice to Veronica. She's got a boo-boo on her arm. Okay, give me a smile. Say record. Yes, it's recording now. When do I, I, how do I make it stop? Push your finger. Flex. Hi.
my favorite person on earth, Easy Taylor. This is for the mic. <laughs> Lara. Okay, keep picking. Pick some more. Wait for. So we show this to Grandma and Grandpa. Okay, you can pick some more now. Go ahead. Now show me what you have there. Let's see. Wait a minute, I'm not. Whoa, there it is, there it is. Tell me what they are. Pine cones. What are you going to do with them? Make decorations. Make decorations? Yeah. For Christmas? Yeah. Oh, that'd be beautiful. And we're going to hang them up over the wall. 
Show enough, honey. <laughs> I look it down in the history. Show it to your mother. <laughs> Be sure and show it to your mother. This is the new to this event. We are gathered here together at this hallowed place to pay tribute to those fallen heroes who sacrificed their lives in the service of their country to safeguard our unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yes, this is hallowed ground. To my right is the final resting place of 53 such fallen heroes who lost their lives in a British attack on the night of September 20th, 1777. They gave their lives not so much for flag and country, for they really didn't have much of either at that time. Their cause was an ideal, a concept of a country free and independent. It was not necessarily a popular cause in this area, but the Tory farmer who owned the land on which they fell refused to allow them to be buried there. Hence, they're buried here several hundred yards to the west of where the battle actually took place. Was their cause any different than that today of our fallen heroes? The concept for which they died is a reality which we must defend. The far-flung battlefields of yesterday are very much different today. The enemy's many times unseen terrorists. Were the 250 Marines in Beirut bombed into oblivion as they slept any different than these 53 here? I think not. Were those who fell on the beaches of Normandy and Guadalcanal, were they any different from those who fell in Korea? Were the 50,000 some sent home in body bags from Vietnam? I think not. Though they spilled their blood in undeclared no win wars. Is their bravery any less? Is their valor diminished? Is their cause any different? Are they any less the hero? I think not. Yet today's heroes are many times characterized by the media as adventurers, mercenaries, extremists, and worse. Oliver Nurk is a case in point. Let us heed the words of Barry Goldwater, who said, Extremism in the defense of liberty is no vice, and moderation in the pursuit of justice is no virtue. Who will be tomorrow's heroes? Some are probably standing here today, our young men and women in uniform. Our liberty is in your hands. But what can one person do? What can one person do? You can stand up and be counted, lest you be counted out. You can believe in your God and your country and yourself, and in that order. And then go to work for God and country. The future of our republic is ultimately the free world is in your hands. As Longfellow aptly phrased it, Sail on, O ship of state. Sail on, O union strong and great. Humanity with all its fears, with all the hopes of future years, is hanging breathless on their fate. Thank you. God bless you, and God bless America.